On March 11th, 2019, Path of Exile announced a new stash tab to be added, the Unique tab. This allows you to store and showcase one copy of every unique in-game. When I read that, I knew what I had to do. I've set off to obtain every unique in-game in the solo self-found game mode, filling the Unique stash tab completely. This shit will take a long ass time and won't be easy, but I'm always down for a grind. I'm Matt Lady, and this is All For One. Hey guys. I just wanted to make a little announcement prior to the video starting. You will see in the live stream that we have a, a webcam upon, I mean, pretty much everyone's request. We do have a face cam set up for the live stream. That'll only be for the live stream. As usual, we will have no distractions, no nothing on screen for any of the pre-recorded or after-recorded footage. So I hope you enjoy the uh, live stream clips Then everything that proceeds afterwards. We do get some nice things today, nice progression. So hope you enjoy the video. Oh my god, that is so fucking good. Ugh. We were just talking about how we needed this fucking gear for this stupid ranger. That's great. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. What a way to start the day. The two agreed to also ask for a line card. Seems to be like it is. Okay. Heeds the call of the dead eye. Alright, there's Hyra's Demise, which is pretty fucking massive. Okay, Zoff. Wow, we got a blessing. Nothing else. Alright. At least we got a blessing. Sometimes you literally get nothing, so. VD Spellstring and Lag Blessing ain't the good. I mean, it's the best mapping build in the game right now, probably, but if you actually like the playstyle, VD. Oh, no, sorry, VD. Um, the Chaos Spellslinger build is very similar playstyle. Okay. And it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though. Not bad. That was not bad. Got Delirium Orb. I die here. My work. My battle skills drop. Now we're good. Pretty fucking tanky. As I say that, it didn't even look like he hit me. Maybe I'm tripping, but it looked like I look like a, he looked like he slapped me. It looked like I died from something else almost. He was like too far away. I don't know. I'll watch that one back later. Gangster ass snakes. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Is that thing Soul Eater? He does have Soul Eater. Bro, he's a fucking animal. Tier 3, tier 3. Oh, we have one tier 4. <laughs> fucking praise be. Random crafting effect for influenced items. <laughs> Alright, so. For Armageddon Brand, what do we need from this character? I think I just need the Tabby. And the, I guess in the Gold Room, too. Top 10 Generals of China. Shen Wu. Wu Wu. He is known as Sun Wu Wu Ki Li Jing Sun Bin Ko. If it was taken, <laughs> I cannot believe. Can you imagine if that name was taken? The level's Armageddon brand, even. It looks promising now. I, it's amazing what, like, 20 levels in a sentence you can do. <laughs> I know, webcams have finally actually arrived this time. Can you believe it? Yeah, so, I can explain it. So, long story short, the way it works is, when you click on an alva, your first alva, right? Say, like, this is my first alva, and this is where I saw it. I have a Temple of Corruption 1, and it go. my first offering is to make it go from 1 to 2. The, the second and third Alva in this instance cannot pick the same room again. So I know for a fact those will not be upgrading this from two to three. So as long as I don't talk to the next two, the next in, the next zone that Alva spawns in, it can re-pick this one as an upgrade. So it's just slightly increasing your chances of getting that thing. Now, if you have a room like Halls and it has the upgrade options of like, you know, Catalyst of Corruption and something else, and I make a Halls into Catalyst of Corruption 1, the second and third Alva can have the option of upgrading it from one to two. So when a room is formed, the next two Alvas can upgrade it from one to two. But when a room goes from one to two, the next two Alvas cannot make it go from two to three. So you have to have it. Um, so that's why you, it just slightly increases your odds. The same way that you should always try to upgrade rooms to three 
when you're pursuing a specific room, because once room is three, it can't be picked again. So then I get my armors to three, my jewelers to three. Now the chances of me hitting my catalyst has gone, increased by, you know, that amount. So if there's what, whatever, there's 10 rooms, and instead of it being, you know, one in 10, it's now one in eight. Yeah, it's just, you're slightly increasing the odds of it happening. So like the second I were to, if I click her, an exclamation point goes away, I fucked it up. So I have to just not talk to any of them. And it's like kind of hard instinctly not to talk, want to talk to them, so. Just gotta make sure you don't do it. Now, should we try a six link the carcass check right now? I haven't tried six link anything this league yet. Scroll wheel, left click, wheel down, left click, apply. Save myself carpal tunnel over here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. So 25% chance. I don't know who the fuck, if I even have it, the colors are like whatever. So 25% chance. Sad. Very, very sad. It became Redeemer quality. Redeemer? That's, I thought it was supposed to only be Shaper Elder, but now it just gets influence. Bro, the MF, the MF thing's happening. Yo, it's happening! It's happening! Dead Hunter, yeah. Imagine. Open up this piece. Mm, my Ferrari went from a V16 to a V12. Guess I'll just have to walk. <laughs> Guess I'll walk everywhere! Oh. Alright, Uber Lab. We are getting to Salio's cleansing water. So it's 100 fire as 2 life regen. 10 fizz from hits taken as fire. Regenerate if you've taken fire recently and unaffected by ignite. Now I have a 232 fire as. <laughs> cool. Alright, so as you saw from the stream clips, I uh, have this chieftain now. This will my fourth character in League, my final character for the foreseeable future. He's an Armageddon brand chieftain who I'm using to magic find. Um, he currently has not a whole lot of IQ, IR, 27 quantity, 161 rarity, but enough that um, you for sure see a noticeable difference when you're doing maps like, which effectively are like 280 quantity because of, you know, modifiers, etc. Um, even to the point where I can actually put on a rarity. I think my helmets would be like 320 rarity against all uniques and rares, which is quite good. And I've been running uh, glaciers. I had roughly, we'll say, 40, I think it was 45 to 50 glaciers. I'm down to whatever this is, so 15, 16 glaciers. It's really just like um, one run, two, drop, or up one. So pretty much every glacier run, you're going to get at least uh, 0.5 glaciers back in return. And I've gotten uh, you know pretty okay currency from just grinding this out. You saw I had the carcass jack. We're already back up to this amount of currency. So it's going pretty good. No really noticeable unique so far. Piscators, um, not bad. Calm's Roots, not bad. Um, what else has been extra uniques? Uh, I'm going to second one of the Quivers. I valid it. Nothing good happened. Queen of the Forest. I don't think I've really MF'd anything insane yet. Nothing too nothing too big so far. We're just plugging away our lore we've also. We do have a Pyre when we ever want to transition this character out of Magic Finding and into Progression. So that is ready to go. It's catalyzed, so it does 90% increased printing damage. And it destroys all uh, corpses. Corpses? <laughs> corpses. So that's uh, pretty fucking nice there. My MFing has paid off ever so slightly. Um, not the duplicate Scorpion Skull. This is number four for me. But I actually finally received my Retaliation Charm. Which is not very good. But uh, it's something new. Didn't have it. Part of the new uniques. So glad I received it. There it is. Can plonk that bad boy into the uh, old Tabarino. And I'm at number two. A second Retaliation Charm. Wow. Twice within about 45 minutes. Ah, fucking Jesus. You know, you just, you just think out loud to yourself. What would be the best drop you could possibly get when playing an MF character? Just think, just, you can say it out loud. You can say it all together. Count, count of three, ready? One, two, three. Did everyone, did everyone shout out the same answer? No? Was it Career Ward? No? Well, it was, was it Biscos? Yes, it was. It was Biscos. That's a fucking Biscos. Oh, how the fuck do I run this now? Um, all right, well, I need decks. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure some shit out, but that's fucking... I mean, this is this is gonna crank this shit to the next fucking level. Holy fuck. All right. The MF boy is really coming in the clutch now. 
God damn. All right, so I had to drop the Sedimas, which is you know not a big deal. It's actually the worst of the quantity pieces if you really do the math. So Sedimas are out. My old red gloves are in. Um, I dropped my amulet, which was a lot of res on it. Um, but I and I swapped my I had the arcane guardian cluster for the now sanctuary cluster. I'll get a little bit more res when I go for soul of steel. It's another 10 all res there, which is also a very good cluster to get. So now I'm at with endurance. Well, I gotta get my fucking endurance charge to get up. Come on. Come on. Six. One more. Wait for it. Okay. So I'm at res capped now. Totally res capped. I really don't need any fire res, but all my gear just already has fire res on it, so it kind of is what it is. But I'm res capped now wearing biscos. I just had to anoint on decks onto it because, well, you know my situation. But yeah. So we're actually doing it now. Just doing a little tier six. Let's have a metamorph spawn. Look at that shit. Six link weapon. That's a. Uh, kind of a rarity. My damage is pretty much at the moment until I can, you know, gem leveling, capping out at about a tier six, which makes sense considering my fucking gear. It's three minutes later, we are pretty much halfway there. So that's good, almost died, because I wasn't paying attention for two seconds. Two or six links is gonna be. Neuro's harp and, oh, wow, that's interesting. It rolled, uh, it rolled a double. I hit enough percentage, it rolled double. Two sex links dropped. Um, Pretty fucking worthless. Now this is gonna be pretty fucking tricky, but Zana's offering me a poor joys. And with that amount of increased rarity and quantity on the map, plus the experience, plus the dropping amulets, I kinda can't say no. So I'm just gonna try to clear this thing as slow as possible. I'm probably gonna die, but as long as I level first, I think I'll be okay. Now I don't destroy corpses, unfortunately, so this might be a little bit tricky. Ooh, they're a little tanky for me. Um, just gonna have to play it safe. Just gonna have to play it safe. Well, it's kind of disappointing. I just don't understand really how, uh, I feel like rarity just never works sometimes because a map like Forger is where it's allegedly 250% increased rarity of items found in this area. Plus I'm packing about 350 rarity. So you'd think that just like more than two uniques would drop, but it seems like a pretty just on average amount for, you know, well, just normal clearing. So unsure, but either way, Forger is down. <clears throat> Is there like a more recognizable feeling when doing incursion? Um, when you finish a temple you've worked very hard on, you spend a lot of time making because it's your favorite temple, it's your special temple, you guys are temple friends. And fucking just like every room is level two. Isn't that just the isn't that just the best feeling? Just everything beyond the stars is level two. Then you get this fucking sad ass little three room. I do have an Ichimonji, right? All right, this is kind of a cool thing that happens every now and then. So sometimes you get Storm of Corruption, adds corruption or radiating tempests, and it contains whatever something. But I got radiating tempest. Now this is like super duper MF boy over here. So when I actually have this, and I pop these packs, it sh I hypothetically should have a lot higher chance of getting uniques. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's bullshit or not, because the Radiant Tempest is bullshit and rarity in this game is bullshit, but that's the idea, so might take a little more, more time to clear this map, but I walk around and then just like do this, things might drop? I don't know. Well, I took about five times longer than normal, and I saw really no noticeable difference in rarity for anything in that fucking Radiating Tempest. Oh, now my game crashed, I guess? Maybe that crash is like extra vile luck I'll be having. I don't know, I'm just fucking reaching out. I have not seen a Tempest spawn in the boss room, but they're supposed to. Okay, again? What the fuck is happening? Something is clearly wrong with the uh, temple right now. Alright, four portals to go. Can, can we kill one Roomba? Four portals. Survey says. Fucking 50-50. Like him being ignited? Oh, here we go. Hopefully we get a vial or... I don't know. Just file or something I guess and oh wow actually however that is a duplicate vial okay we have two vials this league both of them are for mask of the spirit drinker um bummer bro well 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 the goat on glacier has come up with the clutch yet again there is our storm secret ring which is very fucking nice because it is one of the new uniques very nice but more importantly, it is a unique that is kind of mandatory for really cool build. Oh, what the fuck is this little bird doing? Oh, he's fucked off. 
So yeah, there's a build, basically it's like an auto bomber Herald of Thunder build that uses Choir of the Storm plus Double Storm Secret, and it makes you yoked out Herald of Thunder that is just fucking noise. So it creates storms when you shock enemies, it hits enemies with increased frequency, it's 40 to 50%. I'm not really sure what roles matter here if you were to catalyze it. I believe if you catalyze it for elemental, I don't think it will affect any of the bottom three. It might increase that lightning damage when that you take, which is not good, but I don't know. Either way, um, very awesome ring. Look forward to get a second one, maybe even trying that shit out, if I can get Acquire the Storms. But yeah, either way, sick one, because it's one off the list, so very fucking cool. Fucking just raining. Raining uniques. There's Hemophilias. Raining from the heavens, they drop down. All the gloves in the universe for me. Not to mention Ice Tombs. But yeah, that's freaking sick, bro. I mean, they're insane gloves. I don't know if they're better or worse than the Impaled gloves at the moment. But worst case scenario, if I play the bow build, I could definitely use these, right? And this is like super good. Although I don't really know how it interacts with the clear of the RD explosion. So this just says bleeding enemies you explode flat out versus there's a chance to have them. I don't know. We'll feed it, figure it out. I'm not sure how they interact, but either way, definitely a cool one to fucking get. Normally this would be a shit drop, but this league, no, this league, this is kind of a drop actually. This is uh, the eternal apple again. Normally it's a meme drop, um, but yeah it's kind of like i don't know it, there's there's some interactions with it with warcraft since they're so op this league that makes this thing kind of usable for certain builds um and it's this weird interaction with enduring cry socketed in it that you could trigger and it increases the cooldown recovery speed and then you trigger you gain endurance charges you instantly lose them all re-trigger your war cries so it's like a fucking weird cyclical thing that I might have to try it at some point, just for the fucking meme. But, end of the day, it increases your Warcraft recovery speed. It says you can't block, <laughs> which is the thing. But, it's definitely a cool shield. Also, I got a mantra, which is super sick. Maybe not this league, but in life. Alright, so we're at the uh, old crafting station. The old, good old harvesty seed land. I just, uh, I made this scepter. It's really nice. It, um... Obviously, it's a big upgrade of my just plus one wand, wand, plus one gem thing. It's got brain damage, it's got fizz, gained as chaos, it's got, you know, some fizz to spells. This was made by just using a scorching fossil. I didn't hit the best mod, which is just like, you know, 100% increased fire damage. But you can see my damage, you know, goes from 4 point, well, wait for it, it's on 3.9 to 4.2. So it's already a pretty big damage modifier. Now, two prefix, two suffix. The one outlier is accuracy, which is actually an attack tag, which means if I remove an attack mod, it'll have prefix, prefix, suffix, which is the key for multi-modding. So then you can multi-mod, put on fire dot, put on fire damage, bingo bongo, you got yourself a nice little scepter. So that's what we're going to do. Hit it, remove a random attack modifier, and there goes our accuracy. That is why it's, uh, in my opinion, always best. Anytime you get any sort of remove, so any targeted and all or targeted exalted, always save them always 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 because um yeah this is this is this is what the harvest is really good for this sort of type of crafting removing targeted and exalting targeted things to craft some insane gear and this is just one step away for this item unfortunately i have to put on fucking lightning res because i'm a goober and i'm playing fucking weird magic find shit but in the future when i get my multi-mod this thing will become super duper sick i think it's probably time i get this upgrade the asinus uh mark into chant one Curious if it might be useful for my dead eye for the, the delvings. I don't really know if that's a thing or not, but we have a dig, so I might as well do it. This MF damage is just not up to par, bro. <laughs> it's just not getting it. Either way, uh, there's my uh, helm up. What? Is that not Garcon Queen of the Winds while holding Asnes Mark? Asnes Mark. Dig. I just did dig. Does dig not count? SNS mark. Song of the Sakama. I have to do Act 9? Oh, what the fuck? These things. Fuck! Fuck! Well, either way. There's the, uh. There she goes. There's my upgrade. So, SNS chance triggers socketed spells when you attack with a bow. I really don't know if there's any socketed spells that matter too much for my bow character. It's really only used for Toxic Rain to cast, like. ED soul drain on a GMP setup, but uh, maybe it'll be something useful. I really don't. I can't think of fucking a frost wall. Maybe frost wall. I think I have like a spell cascade frost wall setup. 
with like a defensive measure so I can push tunnel like that. Uh, okay, so every time I am casting the mines or triggering them, it doesn't appear that either my Frostbite or Frostfall in my trigger socket spell setup works because it might be that I'm not considered attacking. Now, if I take out this, then it starts working. And that might be a route in itself. However, it's not worth compromising my minds for. Mines definitely just like the wave of the future for this. Um, so I guess Asnes does not work with mines. I have to actually attack myself. Damn, this was so spicy. Um, I don't think there's really any other helmet I could possibly use. Unless I'm going to go Crown of Eyes. Uh, that seems bad. All right, looks like the meme is dead. I'm going to have to wait for one of the two real helmets for the build, which is either Curtain Call, uh, quite a common helmet. I'm sure I'll find on the MF character. It just increases your detonation speed for mines. Um, and eventually when you get to 800 decks, you get to throw an additional mine. So that's a thing. Alternatively, if I receive uh, Fractal Thoughts, you can also run Fractal Thoughts, which is very nice. It just uh, gives you a fuck ton of damage because, um, yeah, you get a bunch of decks. If your strength is higher than Int, you can actually get increased decks, Ellie per decks. So you can do the triple scaling. So you just gotta have higher strength and int and higher decks than anything else, and you get 15% increased decks, and then you get a bunch of decks on top of it. So it's actually not that bad. And my anoint at the moment is nothing, um, which is fine, but eventually I just pick up utmost swiftness and I can actually get to decks pretty high, especially if I get an Astramentus. It's not too difficult. Get rid of percent dex amulet. Once you forgo the object of just having any sort of life and just go CI, it just becomes a lot easier. Because for me, that frees up a well a chunk of passive points, actually. At this point, I'm really just building this character for the meme of doing Delve. Um, it's a shame that, again, this helm doesn't work. This would have been a nice little thing to test out for me. And if I really wanted to, I could just, uh, you know, drop my mindset up and just do it manually. But it's just... Feels fucking bad, but it did work though. Um, might be a cool thing in concept for low-level delve characters. I don't know, probably not. <clears throat> so just to reiterate, the uh, uniques I'm looking for on the MF character for the uh, Dead Eye is either Curtain Call or Fractal Thoughts. High Resire is the big, big one. Uh, Shadow and Dust for gloves or Tomb Fist. I don't really work. I can just use a rare with, you know, cool stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm missing for this character to get going. Once I do that, I could head off to Merc Lab, and then I'll do Uber Lab after that. I'm basically running them as if it's a death run, so you know, it is what it is. I have a thousand life, and uh, if I could just smoke my, my way through it, I should be able to get my shit, no problem. I finally got actually a, a second... I had a pair of worm signs that I vowed earlier, like a dingus. So I got a second pair because you actually need worm signs for an Armageddon brand. Whenever I actually need to transition the build out of MF and into actual progression. And the reason is because you have a setup that is Ellie Focus Immolate Cremation GMP. Essentially your single target setup. And you re-put it in Worm Sun because you gain A, you gain your Rampage for free, which is sick. It does have a little bit of life and it comes with Conk Effect, so it's a good Ghetto 5 link. Now, the issue is, again, my res. So I'm not running it right now, but I will put it in the setup just to level the gems. What you also have to do is just run a Desecrate. Now, I again, I don't know how to Desecrate, but I will eventually get my Desecrate set up when some of my gems get a little bit better. Uh, but for now, as I'm MFing, I'll just, you know, start leveling it and see how it feels. This has taken a pretty long time to uh, receive also. This is my first fucking wheel. My first wheel. Perfectly bad roll, unfortunately, but this is my, uh, my first wheel, which is just for rarity. So I get a 40% one. It's like 40% versus 80 quant. If you're using the 4 to 1 ratio, technically this is better to use, but I'm not using a fucking wheel shield. So yeah, I mean, I might. I don't fucking know, man. So I'm about to get level uh, 87 here, and I've pretty much been sitting in, like, for the most part, tier 4 maps, honestly. Just trying to get, you know, whatever cool uniques. Probably the rarest thing I've gotten so far is maybe Crown of Eyes or Calm's Root or something, something like that. Uh, nothing really outstanding, outstanding, except for, of course, the League exclusives we got this episode. That's always fucking fantastic. But uh, the plan, there we go, the plan is to pretty much just keep, quote unquote, MFing uh, mid to low tier maps until I get to roughly, we'll say level 90. 90 feels pretty good. Still need to pick up and balance guards. I'm not at 50%. And then once my, uh, I'll start crafting actual gear for the fucking build. And then when I get real gear, <laughs> then I can swap off most of this shit. I'll just keep Biscos on, because there's no reason not to run Biscos. It's that good, honestly. 
for you know whatever maybe i'll try to divide it so the quantity is a little bit better but um yeah that's pretty much the plan here once i get to 90 i'll be i'll feel comfortable enough to like actually start progressing maps i mean this is a tier 10 and i'm at the point where i could still one shot uh white and blue packs with one armageddon brand which i think is kind of like a benchmark again for the dot build if you could one shot a blue pack with one cast of your dot is that good enough to play the build? Yes. I'll still do it for rares as well. So, yeah, I could probably do start doing red maps on this character even. My life is very low. My res is all jacked up. Again, thanks to my magic button gear. But put on some real gear and we can uh, you know, start the show. I just need life. I should be at like 6k life at this level and I'm at 4.4k, which is really just a testament. Like if I had two vermilion rings, I had a shield with 150 life, I had a bell with 150 life, we'd be fucking Gucci. See, see how this shit goes. I guess I'll put on Zana. Maybe possibly get a Cortex or a Synthesis map from the sale. Or nothing. Ironically, if she even offers me like a Synth map or a Cortex, there's no fucking way I can probably do it. Can I still one-shot packs? Or no? Looks like my damage is good enough that I could still pretty much one-shot most things, which is good to know. This is just my survivability. It, that's just going to be the mark of mark of my downfall. <laughs> it's my survivability with the MF situation. Uh, she honestly, doesn't seem bad. I feel like the, the difference between me, my damage in a tier one and a tier, you know, fourteen is kind of negligible. That seems strange, doesn't it? Well, here's a real boss fight. So, real real big boy boss fight and if we can maybe stack cremations and have him sit in it might be enough I mean like it's slow but I guess there's no reason not to do it right am I rewarded for doing my tier 14 deathless for the boss anything anything nothing so it seems that despite my reservations I'm actually able to clear tier 14 maps so I set up my atlas back to progress it I pretty much just put off four stones in all the inner areas, so that puts me at, well, uh, I guess 16 stones now. I'll get my uh, 20 stones by Monday stream. We can do Cirrus then, etc. Progress the Atlas from that point forward, and then uh, transition myself out of MF gear once I feel comfy enough and I feel like I'm hitting a wall into actual damaging gear, especially when I get my Vermilion rings. So that's the plan going forward. We'll just, uh, you know, it's been a week. We've got our characters leveled. We've got our, we've had our fun. Let's actually start progressing the Atlas. And once we were 40 out of 40, then we'll go back to memeing and then we'll look at the harvest as a full, as a real mechanic. Start doing our, you know, tier four seeds once they uh, fucking bug fix them and then start bossing for real. This character can do it. This character will do it. Once I get my cremation set up and once the gems get leveled, I will gain a massive amount of single target. There are tons of people pushing Armageddon Brand Chieftain currently into the utmost depths of the endgame, and I will become one of them. So I'm Matt Letty. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're a fan of the Dead Eye Mind character and the meme he has become, check out the clip after the video is over. Take it easy, guys. Matt Letty out. I am now res cap with 1.4k life. Can I do Merc Lab? Don't have a bleed flask even. Um, we are totally just at the disposal of my insane godlike reflexes. I have zero life regen also, so we just have to micro our flask. Whoa, porcupines. Come on, lady. Be the man you knew you can be. Metal Gear, a little on the low side. What the fuck level is this flask? People think the lab was made so Azaro and Piranus can keep their treasures locked up. It was actually made just to protect the treasures from me. Send me the lab. You thought you were punishing me. Nay, you were preparing me. Preparing me for a day like today. You've never even seen. You've never even imagined for the one-shotting of a fucking lifetime. Anyone who ever ever complains about doing lab again if you watch this video and you learn yourself something you learn yourself something right you learn yourself something true the finish line no whammy why the fuck do i have twice enchanted proking starting to feel like this might actually happen oh my god they say it couldn't be done but the boy has arrived <laughs>